And um, if you're applying to University of Turku, you can apply as a, as a student in Finland and also maybe as a student outside of Finland. So if you're, if you're currently outside of Finland, like in Africa or in Asia country, you can as well apply for this application. So um, this program expects that um, you're highly motivated and also talented when it comes to research because uh, this is a, a kind of a, a long-term research which you're going to which you're going to embark on. So um, the research typically pays uh, a competitive salary of about uh, 2,400 to 2,600 uh, euros monthly, and um, it's and it's what what we call a, a full time job because you're going to be working uh, at the university as well. So this is this is the link to where you're going to get information about. Uh, what the university offers so let's quickly um, look at how to apply to this application to this current application the application period for this um, uh, doctoral training starts in august uh, august 28 as you can see here so you can apply from august 28 to august uh, um, september 30th so if you apply any time after this date, then you are not eligible. So the study begins from January 2025, and then you have your doctoral, uh, your employment contract as well. And uh, the next application will be in March. If if um, if you if you're applying, if you don't want to apply for this next one, you can apply for the uh, 2025 application, which would open in march so let's quickly look at what you need to do before applying for this uh, for this doctoral training the first is that you need a relevant master's degree whether from finland or outside of finland you need um, any master's level degree most especially um, something related to your program and at the same time uh, this okay you can see here you need your proof of language skills so something like IELTS, TOEFL, PTE would work in this regard to prove your language test to prove your language proficiency uh, if you're interested in uh, language proficiency tests like TOEFL, PTE, IELTS trainings you can reach out to me uh, we have coaching for IELTS training and also for IELTS uh, what's it called registrations then um, we have uh, Doctoral, choosing your program, that's the next thing. You need to search for uh, available programs, and you can see the link here. So these are the doctoral programs currently available for this application period till 2025. So if you're, if you're applying between uh, 2021 and 2025, these are doctoral programs that are already funded, which you can search for your uh your interest your research interest from okay then the next step is to find your supervisor so it's very important you search the you search the faculty uh website for list of supervisors and you contact them for uh what's it called for their supervision you understand that's very very important some programs requires you to get a supervisor before applying why some programs would not require you for, to get uh, a supervisor as it is stated here and uh, you need to select a target degree make sure you select programs that are related to your previous degree as well and also to your area of interest then what do you do how do you apply it's very very simple you click on this link and it takes you to the application form currently the application form is not on the website till 28th of august okay so that's that about that then i would encourage you to start the application as early as possible if you're interested in this uh process then you need some documents such as your research plan you need your research plan make sure that you start preparing your research plan based on the supervisor and the program you're applying to and then um, if you're applying from outside of finland you need your scanned original um, certificates, okay? 
in the same language as the degree was uh, as it as the degree was completed in. Then you need your scanned uh, original transcripts of records as well. You need um, scanned other original educational documents which may be relevant in this uh, selection period. You know, you should also take note that in Finland, documents are only are only assessed in English, Finnish, or Swedish. So any other language, you need to provide um, an official translation to, uh, to be attached to the application. Also, you need a copy of your uh, international passport for this uh, application as well. And then you need um, proof of language skills, such as maybe IELTS or TOEFL or any of these uh, tests that are standardized tests. So if you, if you need registration for this, and maybe you need me to guide you through the coaching and everything, reach out to me and I'm going to uh, provide you the, the full service to this uh, information to this language tests. Then after sending your application, you see processing. So your application will be on that processing and then uh, immediately you are accepted. You need to uh, to do your uh, post application registrations and then you provide your original transcripts. Usually Finland would ask your university to send your transcript directly to them or depending on the program you're applying for. So you need to check the uh, this particular link for information about providing your original documents.